In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Welcome everyone to our celebration of the Eucharist. Let us pause and experience again the healing and peace of our risen Lord. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, mercy. have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth peace, peace to peace people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, shout with joy for Jacob, exult at the head of the nations, proclaim your praise and say, the Lord has delivered his people, the remnant of Israel. Behold, I will grant them back from the land of the north. I will gather them from the ends of the world with the blind and the lame in their midst, the mothers and those with child. They shall return as an immense throng. They departed in tears, but I will console them and guide them. I will lead them to brooks of water on a level road so that none shall stumble. For I am a father to Israel. Ephraim is my firstborn. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, every high priest is taken from among men and made their representative before God to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. He is able to deal patiently with the ignorant and the erring, for he himself is beset by weakness. And so for this reason, he must offer sins offerings for himself as well as for the people. No one takes this honor upon himself, but only when called by God, just as Aaron was. In the same way, it was not Christ who glorified himself in becoming high priest, but rather the one who said to him, you are my son, this day I have begotten you. Just as he says in another place, you are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. The word of the Lord. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, o Lord. As Jesus was leaving Jericho with his disciples and a sizable crowd, Bartimaeus, a blind man, the son of Timaeus, sat by the roadside begging. On hearing, hearing that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. And many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, son of David, have pity on me. Jesus stopped and said, call him. So they called the blind man, saying to him, take courage, get up. Jesus is calling you. He threw aside his cloak, sprang up, and came to Jesus. Jesus said to him in reply, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man replied to him, Master, I want to see. Jesus told him, Go your way. Your faith has saved you. Immediately he received his sight and followed him on the way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The story of Bartimaeus is one of the most beautiful in the Gospels. Jesus is making a long journey to Jerusalem. His disciples are following him. And in this beautiful story, it's remarkable how many times we hear the word call. Bartimaeus is calling out to Jesus as he comes by. The disciples tell Bar Bar Bartimaeus to stop calling. Jesus says, call him over. And they say, he's calling you. So we hear the word call so many times, which should remind us of our vocation, that the master calls you and me that we all have a vocation and we are all to play an important role in God's plan for his kingdom Bartimaeus might have been physically blind but he sees he sees who Jesus is he knows that Christ is passing by and he calls out to him with trust and faith he doesn't care that people are telling him to be quiet and that his quest is useless. He just calls out to Christ and his simple request is rewarded. And Jesus asks him, what do you want me to do for you? And the blind man shows a beautiful answer. I want to see. He didn't say, Oh, let me think about that overnight and I'll get back to you tomorrow. No, he answered that question. What do you want me to do for you with precision and confidence and passion? He knew immediately what he needed. I want to see. I want to know your presence. I want to know who you really are. I want to see myself as I really am and know my sins. 
I want to see the truth of the choices that I make. I want healing of life's hurts. And Bartimaeus is given sight, and so are we. Bartimaeus was a person of hope. Even though he was blind and had his disabilities and was in darkness, he lived with hope. And he called out each day with hope that things could be better. Do we have hope for ourselves and plans for our future? God does, and Bartimaeus did, and so should we. We should have hope for ourselves, hope that is rooted in our faith in Jesus, our Lord. I have hopes for our church, even in these challenging and dark times. And that hope for our church gives me energy for the present. When someone says to me, um, I don't have any hope or there's no hope for me, I always remind them, where'd you find that in the gospel? Where'd you find that in the good news? It's not there. But Jesus tells us, do not be afraid. I am with you. I will help you. I think that that cry or that um, calling out of Bartimaeus has been enshrined in a beautiful prayer that that's called the Jesus Prayer. And um, thousands of people find uh, real affirmation in that prayer. In the Jesus prayers, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Today at this Mass, Jesus asks all of us, what do you want me to do for you? Let's tell him with confidence and hope so that we can live in the joy of the freedom and freedom of the children of God, knowing of Christ's great love and care for us. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and Son is adored and glorified who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With confidence and trust, we turn to God with our needs and the needs of all of God's people in prayer. For prophetic leaders in the church, may they communicate their message with truth clarity, and love, so the faith of everyone is increased. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace and harmony among nations, as members of the entire human family, may civic leaders always strive to seek the common good. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an openness to the life within the sacrament of marriage, and an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the permanent diaconate. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For deeper faith in the church community, may we draw much closer to the Lord to help us when we feel betrayed or find things in the church difficult to understand and accept. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious God, we thank you for your love and care for us. 
Hear the prayers we ask with faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering canceled out our sins, and by his rising from the dead he has opened the way to eternal life, and by ascending to you, O Father, he's unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Donald and Michael, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our oh, Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, done on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We're grateful for the beautiful Basilica of the Immaculate Conception for hosting our Mass. I want to thank the choir of St. Catherine Labore from Wheaton, Maryland, for leading us in our praise of God so beautifully today. And um, let us live with hope, the hope that Bartimaeus showed us, and um, have a great Sunday. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. This Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. If you cannot attend Mass and would like to receive the Eucharist at home, please contact your parish directly. To help support the TV Mass from the Basilica, call 1-866-507-8757 or visit faithdirect.net slash basilica tv mass. We had almost 20 inches of rain about 40,000 homes were flooded. Water came in from all directions and it turned our city upside down. From day one, when the Knights were created, it was built on charity, giving back to those in need. You're not giving them a hand out, you're giving them a hand up. That's what charity means to the Knights. We have a, a good number of our Knights out sorting the supplies. You really see just complete strangers banding together to, you know, help out a family and get, uh, you know, walls torn down, lay the groundwork to where they can rebuild. Charity is something that you can't put a price on. We give back to those that need help, and that's, that's what being a Brother Knight is all about.